Planet Earth is home to millions of species of animals, plants, and microscopic organisms. All of these organisms play key roles in the environment, are often interdependent, and without one or the other, ecosystems would fall apart. Ecology is the study of organisms, of their environment, and the interactions between the two. These relationships can range from a microscopic scale, where you're looking at bacteria, through to plant-animal interactions and predator-prey interactions. Ecology is an important science because it provides insight into how people and nature depend on each other, as well as all living organisms in an ecosystem. Worst case scenario, they say we've never had ecologists in the world. Okay, we don't know where the animals come from, number one. We don't know how the animals live within the environment, why things are the way they are today. Why do we have certain animals only preferring to be on the mountains, for instance, or certain animals only preferring to be in grasslands rather than the forest? Why do we have certain animals only living in certain type of habitat? Ecologists are sometimes referred to as environmental scientists because they can deal with various aspects surrounding the environment, such as rainfall, temperature shifts, as well as pollution. Say you have a tanker accident on the N3 and a truck crashes, it spills a whole lot of fuel into the local environment. That fuel runs down off the highway, it gets into a local stream, it obviously is then going to pollute the terrestrial environment, the riverbanks around that stream, it's going to get into the water. What it's going to do is it's going to kill all the organisms in the water, it's going to kill the plant life on the sides of the stream, and then if you've had a lot of rain or if the stream's flowing strongly, it's going to very quickly wash downstream. So what you have to do then is bring in cleanup crews, they come in, <clears throat> they mop up that spill, but your ecologists need to manage that cleanup and make sure that it's done effectively, and they also then need to monitor further downstream to make sure that that pollutant, that fuel, doesn't spread further downstream because, say, in the case of a truck accident on the N3, it could then spread into the Doozy, that would then spread through into the Amgheny, and that would then affect the drinking water resources for everybody living east of Peter Maritzburg between Maritzburg and the coast. UKZN creates a learning environment that promotes exploration across all areas of ecology. The department is made up of passionate academics who strive to teach the course better than they've done it before. The University of Oslo Natal, or what is known as UKZN, uh, provide a very unique uh, opportunity for training uh, the upcoming endologist or, or ecologist. At first year, of course, uh, you're going to meet me and my other colleagues who will tell you generally about life on Earth. So in first year you cover your basic introductory biology, then from second year onwards you specialise slightly more, looking at specialist ecology and focusing on your plants, your birds, your animals and insects. From second year onwards all of your modules have a practical component. These practicals will take place at the university in laboratories or on local farms and in local nature reserves. Because ecology is such a hands-on discipline, these pracs help a lot for students to grasp the practical measures that they will need and the skills that they will need to take into the workplace after their degree. My name is Nelly Gizama and I'm doing my Masters in Ecological Science at the University of KwaZulu Natal, Peter Maritzburg campus, in collaboration with the Agricultural Research Council. My honours degree was very interesting and informative and I was able to communicate very closely with my supervisors and this led me to gain a much more uh, intense understanding of what I'm studying. And this is why I decided to end up doing a master's degree in ecology and possibly a PhD in the future. There are a wide range of career opportunities available to ecology students. Firstly, you can go into applied research working either for a university or a government organisation. They could also go into management, working in a nature reserve or working in a local park or a national, national reserve such as the Kruger National Park. Another popular career choice nowadays is environmental consultancy. And then after doing some postgraduate study, they could also look at going into specialist consulting, which has a very broad spectrum. They could go from doing wildlife and bird surveys to doing things like aquatic surveys to looking at things like the influence of wind turbines on the local bird life and the local fauna. To study ecology at UKZN, a minimum APS score of 28 points is required with maths, English, life orientation, and either physics, life sciences or agricultural sciences. Visit our website for more information. So if you have an interest in the natural world and how it functions, then ecology is for you. 
You never know, maybe here at UKZN you'll discover something that you never even knew about that is your new passion.